how regulation goes, it is so slow. Uh, I think this week, or maybe it was last week, the the White House, the Biden White House administration, they just released a, a mandate on effectively, uh, I can't remember the exact verbiage, but you know, talking about IPv6 security and how you have to now consider it and secure it. How long has IPv6 been around? That's how long it's taken to get regulation on it. And it's not even law. It may not even be passed. Uh, they're just talking about it. So unfortunately, as much as I think ASM will benefit everybody, uh, because think about all the major breaches in retail, insurance, finance, government, uh, ASM probably could have reduced a lot of that, you know, uh, shrunk the blast radius considerably, which helps everybody, not just the vendors, not just the, the people implementing ASM to protect their infrastructure, but the consumers of those services. I, I don't see it becoming a uh, regulatory re requirement in the next decade. Pieces because uh, it is kind of it has become a hot new technology, but it's still kind of early days, not not at the super mature stage, right? So what what are those uh, kind of uh, growing pains? What what are the challenges which ASM as an industry is facing today? What are the bad sides? We talked about the good sides. Let's also talk about some of the bad sides, and then we'll discuss a little bit about the future uh, how, uh, uh, of ASM as an industry. So let's start about what are the bad sides. What what are the challenges uh, for ASM? Um, you thought of discussing, but we just missed it as a part of the conversation. Anything comes to your mind before we conclude today? And also, we'll um, uh, we don't have much of time, uh, but we could have also opened. 